Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 24th of 2021. Well, it is titled the edge of space. So what do we see here? Well, are we looking towards the edge of space? We see the Earth down below and the space up above. But where does the Earth end, Earth's atmosphere end, and where does space begin? And there can be a couple of different uh, definitions of that. Where exactly are the edge of that, edge of space? And it's difficult to define because our atmosphere, unlike the surface of the Earth, does not have a distinct end to it. So we would see a distinct surface on the Earth. We can walk on the Earth and know when we are on the Earth. And if we leave the Earth, we know exactly when we leave it. However, when you get the atmosphere, it just gets thinner and thinner as you get higher and higher up in the atmosphere. So even as high as the International Space Station, there is a very, very thin, tenuous atmosphere that affects the orbit of the space station. So even things a few hundred miles up above. We generally consider the edge of space somewhere between about 50 and 60 miles above Earth's surface. So much higher than airplanes fly, which is where this was taken from an airplane about six miles up above the surface of our Earth. Now we can see also in this image uh, clouds. We see clouds down below, but we also see some uh, what we call noctilucent clouds or night shining clouds. These are clouds that are still being illuminated by uh, sunlight, even though the sun is below the horizon. So they are clouds very, very high in the sky that are still seeing around the edge, around the curvature of the Earth, and able to uh, see. The, still see the sunlight. So if you're up that high, the sun is not yet set. So they still see the sunlight. And it wouldn't be for a little longer before the, the sun would dip below the horizon for objects so much higher in the sky. The other thing that we can see is the aurora. Aurorae are caused by charged particles from the sun that strike the Earth's magnetic field and then are funneled in towards the north and south magnetic poles. And when they strike the atmosphere there, they cause oxygen atoms primarily to glow. And the oxygen atoms when glowing give off a distinct green color. And that's part of what we see here as well. We see the green color of the aurora. In the image, we see the, see the night shining clouds. And of course, we see Earth down below uh, through the clouds there. And up above, we see the sky, including a number of stars and even a galaxy. If you look up towards the upper right hand side, there's a distinct galaxy visible and a lot of other stars and stellar groupings that are visible within the image for today. So that was our picture of the day for July the 24th of 2021. It was titled The Edge of Space. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Crescent Father and Son. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.